what's going on my dudes currently driving to uh the goodwill we're going to a couple goodwills today to find some stuff to flip and make some gosh darn money baby alex is already there i'm a little late i'm gonna meet his uh bitch ass over there and we are gonna find some steals some deals this is thrifting thoughts episode numero uno we're bilingual on these hoes let's hey guys Oh, it's hot. It All is right. very hot. What is going on, boys? We just hit up two Goodwills, and um, it's fucking early. It's fucking early. Early I'm bird tired, eats baby. that worm. Mm -hmm. I'm tired and hungry. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So we hit up two Goodwills. We got uh, three items total. Yeah. It's hard as shit to find stuff, to be honest. We went through like every piece of clothing on every rack we in really both did. Goodwills. Yeah. And, and we went through like the media I'm too and all the books. Yeah, we went through all the books. We found out, actually, interestingly, that this pro the only way to do it, we got to hit garage sales for books and stuff because it's expensive at Goodwill. Um, so first thing that I got just now, I don't even know which way does this go. Okay, this way. Yeah. It's this uh old '80s like kind of like ski style jacket. Jeez, this is hard, but probably. Put how much do you think you can, if you did If I sell. did sell it, I could easily get 50 yeah. bucks. It's a really nice material, um, made in America. You can tell just by the branding right here. It says made in USA, but you can tell it's from the 80s for sure. Um, it's good material, absolutely no flaws with it, except for like, oh, there's yeah. a stain on the sleeve. That. But uh, yeah, this is super nice, good pockets and stuff. So oh, yeah. that could, that would go for 50. I paid 10 for it, mm -hmm. or 11. For yeah, it. and I did, I just got this Duke. Like pullover, do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like quarters up. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Anything sports? It five. It's champion too. Oh, you so. got it for five? Yeah, I got it oh, for five. Sick. Yeah, that'll go for fifteen, twenty. Yeah, that's easy. I'm gonna put it up for twenty and yeah. see. I'll probably exactly. put it up on Depop and eBay. Exactly. Anything sports teams with big sports yeah. teams sells really well. And then I got this Nike full zip kind of track jacket. Uh, it's like an early 2000s, I'm guessing, from the tongue, because that's kind of when they went, were doing their black and red thing. It's a navy blue and white with just your uh, typical swoosh right there. Um, so we actually got some we, we, we got some good pieces I think so. today. Mm -hmm. It was a successful it's, day. It's just kind of, yeah, it just takes time to find good yeah. pieces because we had to go through all exactly. that stuff. But exactly. Other than that, it was all right. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, we got to put in the time to find everything. Yeah. But, um... If we're coming out with one to two pieces every time, you know, we'll be able to get decent inventory. So yeah, pretty good day. Yes, sir, the baby. Game. All right, guys, before this video starts, like before you watch any of this, we are just starting. Me, Alex, Hannah, the Thrift Thoughts, we're new to this. We've never done this before. Please do not take anything we say seriously or as actual advice. We are documenting our experience. Um, we're motivated by some people on the internet to try to do this ourselves, thrifting and then flipping. Um, for real, we do not know what we're doing. We're trying to figure it out as we go. So while we may seem like we're giving advice, we're kind of just talking about what we know. And I'm sure we'll look back on this very soon and cringe at how little we actually knew. So basically, I got to head to uh, Office Max, pick up bubble wrap, and then pick up some shipping tape, some packing tape. And then I'm heading to uh, two different Goodwill sticks, 50% off yellow tags. Um, I'm not going to talk too long and bore you guys. I will see you there. All right, guys, quick uh, valuable life learning lesson real quick. Um, I'm in Goodwill shopping for more product, and uh, the dude cancels the order on the shoes that I'm about to ship out tomorrow. Um, and it was because I hadn't messaged him after he purchased them. I was just planning on sh uh, shipping them on Monday after the weekend. Uh, Should have messaged him, obviously, thanking him right there for the order, but I didn't. Again, I'm new to this. All right, so this place is an absolute mess right now. Boxes, shipping supplies, all kinds of stuff. Um, we're going to start at the ring light right here. This is actually crucial for taking pictures. Very good lighting. The pictures have been very good. On the wall, pointed, the ring light is pointing, whoa, ring light's pointing towards it. This is able to let us hang clothes on here to take the pictures. We have a hundred padded flat rate priority mail envelopes for clothes. Um, and we have a hundred of these eBay envelopes for clothes, or uh, not, well, not necessarily for clothes, but they work really well for these PS Vita games that I'm selling, uh, those Xbox games, um, you know, if we were going to sell socks or anything smaller than these. I actually made a little bit of a mistake and bought these for $23, 
and um, bad move in the end because of the fact that you can get them for free. If you go to USPS.com, go to the shipping store, they will ship you uh, packing materials for free. So these were all free for the 100. These are 20 bucks for the 100. However, it did give me a seller's rating after I bought them, automatically gave me a seller's rating, which means I now have 100% positive feedback. Now, if people are experienced eBay buyers, they realize that it's not from selling, but if you're just looking, you do see that feedback, and it does kind of help you out. So that is a one benefit of buying this. I didn't realize how small these were gonna be either. Um, you can technically fit shirts in them, but these, uh, these flat rate mailers are gonna be much better for that. I actually have my first order boxed up. This is a used box, um, bad tape job. I'm actually probably gonna have to tape it up one more time. Um, uh, a used box that I already had, but I'm shipping a pair of Jordan 5s and then a t-shirt that matches really well with it. We talked about that a second ago. Before I get too distracted, these are all the items we either have listed or need to list. I haven't listed any video games yet or any PS Vita games yet. We have this priority mailbox right here with the PS Vita that I'm trying to sell for about a hundred bucks. Um, in here, four games, charging cable, uh, all that. We either take pictures on this uh, whiteboard as a clear backdrop for like the hats and stuff, it looks really well, or up on this hanger. A lot of times we'll put it up on the hanger and then down on the whiteboard for the detailed shots and you can get a really good angle. Um, this is a piece of paper. On the top half, I printed out a thank you note for the first purchase, which was those Jordans, which I'm gonna ship tomorrow. I'll film that. Uh, but this one's gonna be handwritten, so I can just use uh, the half sheets of paper every time. Uh, it's very important, I've come to realize, to uh, write a thank you note and ask for reviews, especially when you're starting out, it does help with your reviews a lot. Um, but yeah, we just have some stuff over here that I still wanna get to listing all of these Xbox games. This obscure game, wouldn't think it's worth anything, right? Did some research on it, it sells very slow, so I should get it listed soon, but can go for 60 to $70 because it's a rare game, I guess. A lot of these items have already been listed. We have a ton of hats um, ready to be listed. We actually, basically I sold a pair of shoes, the only shoes I listed pretty quickly for a very good price. And it looks like this is the next item that's gonna be sell. I have a couple buyers very interested. Uh, it's a Goodwill jacket, early 2000s Nike jacket, navy blue and, um, and white. I'm listing it for 25 bucks, bought it for 10. And I don't know guys, I'm just having a ton of fun. So I just thought I'd show you the whole setup. We're gonna have to use a little bit more organization, kind of some packing supplies, what I've ordered to get myself started. Um, like for example, we have all these boxes down here. Um, and it's I'm about to be done rambling on about this. I just kind of wanted to make a video and uh, get it out just showing you the basic operations. We may go more in depth in listing and selling items. Uh, we actually will. And then I'm gonna make a video talking about my first week selling on these apps and how I did. I just want to let you guys know the capital for all of this. We had twenty dollars for the packing slips. We had uh, all this, all the USPS packing slips were free, which you can do for free. So take packing out of the equation. Everything's free so far. And uh, some of the stuff I've already had, like the PS Vita and all those games, I've already had those given to me. All those Xbox games had them. Bought some hats for five to three dollars. I've probably spent a total of about forty bucks in startup costs. So if you can find a way to get forty bucks, you can start selling. Um, again, going to get more in detail about that in later videos, but...